Cruz, Nick a weather information for a cruise safe flights, but also the Nick weather information on the surface for takeoff and land. ADAS, ASAS, and AWAS are surface weather reporting systems that provide local weather conditions and other relevant information for a specific airport. Almost all of them report the same data as time, insular time, wind direction that is giving it magnetic north, green speed that is giving in NOx, visibility, temperature, dew point, altimeter setting, and cloud conditions. So, is all of them report almost the same data? What is the difference between them? First, ADAS is a stand for Automatic Terminal Information System. It is a dedicated frequency that automatically broadcasts information to reduce frequency congestion in controller LOA. Because it is human created, there are additional information beyond the weather. For example, phonetic identifier, runway news, tour frequencies, norms, and other information that they want to add. Information is recorded in an exact date 55 minutes past the hour, unless weather and active runways require changes. If there are significant changes, new audio is recorded and it is transmitted before due time. When this happens, the word special is added as a resolute time. Usually, ADAS are located in tower airports with class B, C, and D airspace. Here it is an example of ADAS. Hamilton Airport, information whiskey, weather at 2200 Zulu, wind 190 at 4. Visibility 1-5, Q cloud at 17,000, 22,000 broken, temperature 2-4, dew point 1-1, altimeter 3-0-1-1, IFR approach, RNAV runway 06, caution approaches may be in progress to any runway, landing and departing runway 06, caution parajump at Dundas Airport, 8 nautical miles north of Hamilton Airport, maximum drop altitude 13,000 feet. Caution, bird activity on the airport. ASAS, it is a stand for Automated Surface Observing Systems. ASAS are newer and more accurate, usually they are used to make ADAS report, and also they are used by National Weather Service. Something that is very important is that ASAS is owned by the federal government. AWAS is a stand for Automated Weather Observing System. It is more basic, and most of the time they are used by non tower airports. AWAS is installed by Federal Aviation Administration, but they can be installed by municipalities and businesses. It is updated at least one per minute. Here it is an example of AWAS. For Bay, automated weather observation system, observation taken at 1806 Zulu, wind 230 at 12. Visibility greater than niner, sky clear, temperature 21, dew point 7, altimeter 3028, density altitude 1100 feet. Direction is measured when wind vane and cock system. The wind spin three horizontally turn cocks around the base of the wind vane, providing an estimation of the wind speed. The vane of the turn turns so that the face of the vane offers the least resistance to the wind, causing it to point in the direction the wind is coming from. The new generation of sensor use some ways to measure wind speed and direction. The measurement is based on the time it takes for ultrasonic pulse to travel from one transducer to another. Visibility is computed with transmissometer. A beam of visible light is transmitted from its transmitter to receiver head. Visibility is calculated with light loss in the air. 
Automator Airport Weather Station News a light emitting dire weather identifier to determine what time of precipitation is falling. The sensor may show the simulation patterns of the precipitation fully through the sensor's infrared beam, approximately 60 mm in diameter. It determines from apparent analysis of the particle size and fall velocity whether the precipitation is rain or snow. Is the precipitation is not identified as rain or snow, unknown precipitation is reported. Silometer has a laser beam pointing hour to detect amount and height of the clouds. The time required for reflect light to return to the station allows for the calculation of the height of the clouds base. Automated airport weather station uses a temperature dew point sensor, hydro thermometer. It normally remains on all the time, except during maintenance. Operating under the principle the electrical resistance varies with temperature. Platinum wire resist temperature device measures the ambient air temperature. The original dew point sensor deployed on ASO system utilizes a chill mirror that is cool to the point where a fine field of condensation forms on the mirror surface. The temperature of the mirror at this condition is equal to the dew point temperature. Hygrometer measures the dew point by directing a light beam from a small infrared diode to the surface of the mirror at an angle of 45 degrees. The original precipitation accumulation measuring device used for automated airport water station is the hero typing bucket rain gauge. The upper portion of this device consists of one foot 0.3 mm diameter collector with an open top. The collector, which is heated to melt any frozen precipitation, such as snow or hail, funnels water into two cameras, the boring container called a bucket. Precipitation flows through the funnel into one compartment as the bucket until 0.01 inch of water, 18.5 grams, is accumulated. Dug among us weight causes the bucket to tick on its people, dumping the collect water and moving the other chamber under the funnel. The taping motion acts as a switch which sends one electrical pulse for each 0.01 inch. This sensor works by detecting both the flash of light and momentary change in electric field produced by lightning. When both of these are detected within a few milliseconds of each other, the station registers a possible lightning strike. When a second possible lightning strike is detected within 15 minutes of the first, the station records a thunderstorm. And this is how they look. This is a ASAS and this is a AWAS. Information on ADAS, ASAS, or AWAS can be found in sectional charts or chart supplement.